Corner. He comes to us tonight from Buffalo, New York. He weighed in at 175 pounds, wears solid white trunks, professional record and excellent 12 victories. Only one defeat. Eight of his wins coming by way of knockout. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Lionel Lonnie B. Thompson. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He comes to us tonight from Chelyabinsk, Russia. He weighed in at 173 pounds. Red trunks, white trim. Professional record, 18 victories. No defeats. One draw, 15 wins by knockout. Please welcome Sergei Kovala. Referee Gary Rosado has our fighter's final instructions. Okay, bring it in. I gave you specific detailed instructions in the locker room. I'm only going to tell you two things. Protect yourselves at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Touch gloves, bang at the bell. Do it all. Ten rounds. Light heavyweights. Sergey Kovalov taking on that man, Lionel Thompson. Thompson coming off his first career loss. As you look at Kovalov, who is zoomed up. Ranked number 12 by the WBC in the light heavyweight ranks. He's thinking further down the road, of course. And Thompson, in his biggest moment, he and the silver trunks, as round one of the scheduled 10 rounder is underway. You see immediately that Thompson has those quick reflexes, that good defense, very good upper body movement. Kovalev talked yesterday. He said, quote, this is guy that makes me feel uncomfortable in his style and his quickness, talking about Thompson. Yeah, he's going to have to chase him, cut the ring off, and set traps for him because this guy, he, he knows how to move, and uh, he moves along the ropes very well side to side. And, uh, but uh, Kovalev just landed a good combination. That's what he needs to do. And Kovalev again trying to cut that down and force it against the ropes in the corners as much as possible. If this were a football game, he would be the power running team and Thompson would be the guy throwing it all over the field. <laughs> exactly what he'd be, but Kovalev's got to remember. Good left hand by Kovalev there. He's got to remember to use his jab to set up the punches. You know, even those big power running football teams have pulling guards and tackles out there throwing the blocks. That's what the jab is equivalent to. The jab is going to set it up to land his power shots. Nice straight right hand by Kovalev. See him mocking him there. And Thompson said, bring it. I, I felt it a little bit, but come back to me. And you see Kovalev's strategy is trying to cut that down a little more. Thompson trying to slip in a jab and then come downstairs. And Thompson in these first couple rounds has got to be careful not to get caught with anything too big. Kovalev is definitely the power puncher and the stronger puncher of these two fighters. Nice right hand again by Kovalev. He's finding a home for that in this first round. And Kovalev's got to like when he sees him backing up against the ropes and moving in and out of the corners. Landed another short right hand in that last exchange. It's one thing if Thompson is going to keep his lead left hand down. If he's going to keep it down, he needs to catch counter with his right hand or he needs to roll his shoulder when Kovalev shoots that right hand. Good left hook by Thompson. And Kovalev with the good right. Yeah. Another good punch there. And it, it, grabbing it, on is Thompson. Every time Thompson throws the jab, he lifts his head up a little high. His, his chin's right there in the open. Um, yeah, very bad habit. If he's going to leave that left hand there and look to counter with his right hand, he's got to roll his shoulder. He's got to lift it up. He's got to catch it with his right hand. He's not doing that. Only very few fighters can roll the shoulder. <laughs> And again, Kovalev doing a good job of dictating the pace in this first round, trying to cut this ring down as much as he can against the quicker opponent. 
Kovalev starting off this fight strong here in round one. A couple things we talked about earlier in the fight today is the accuracy of Kovalev. You see him right there getting ready to extend the right hand. Doesn't even extend it all because he doesn't want to be wasteful. Lands the left hook immediately afterwards. Good punch. Back live in round two. Kovalev in the red. And in that first round, the CompuBox numbers really leap out. Kovalev landing 18 power punches compared to one for Thompson. And he lands two or three more right there in succession, Freddie. He heard Thompson right there. His legs just shook a little bit. And uh, Thompson, you know, he was cocky and very brave going in this, but he's, he's got his hands full right now. He finished off his last fight in round two. Can Kovalev do it here? As he continues to dictate the pace, he continues to walk down and cut this ring off. And Freddie, you know, it's the straight right hand that's doing the job every time. Thompson, when he went back to his corner after the first round, his corner should have told him, look, if you're going to get, leave that left hand down, you need the roll, or just pick up the left hand. It's simple. He's still getting caught with the same punch, and it's a very, very basic mistake. Yes, that definitely is, and uh, just, uh, you know, shooting that from that low position, he's not going to have much success. That right hand's going to beat him every time. Let's check in with Chris. John, you guys seem to be doing a pretty good job of cutting the ring off. Do you like what you see out there? Yes, we, that's what we worked on for the last six weeks. Um, you know, this, this guy's a runner. We had, we had a three-week notice on this kid here, and we knew he was going to run once he got hit. So, Sergey's doing the right thing. you got to cut the ring off, be smart, work behind the jab, and go to the body. Thanks, John. Guys. Trainer John David Jackson, he and Derek Santos, the co-trainers. Got a couple of decent fighters there, don't you, Freddie? In each corner, you got John David in one corner and Ross Thompson in the other. Yeah, John David, former world champion, and uh, maybe a little bit higher is <laughs> <laughs> ranking. <laughs> yes, the edge goes to Kovalov's corner there, Absolutely. and it goes to Kovalov right here in the way that he's carried himself in this fight. It doesn't, and the instruction to Kovalov should be really simple. Shoot the right hand until Thompson makes the adjustment. Set it up with a jab. John David Jackson and company very comfortable yesterday, very relaxed. They thought that this fight would go this way. That's how much faith they had in Kovalov's ability to control it. Yes, they, they, they definitely said they were ready, and they, they, they looked very, very ready, and the, the, uh, the right-handed stance has not bothered them at all so far. He's actually helped him a little bit. You know the thing that, you know, John David Jackson, he, they, he said, my guy is ready for anybody in the top ten. You know, they wanted Gabriel Campillo. Campillo coming off two very controversial losses in a fight where he really beat Tavoris Cloud, lost the decision, and then the fight before that that he lost a controversial decision to WBA champion Babu Shumanov, a fight a lot of people thought he won as well. And Campillo was supposed to be here again, but because of his back injury, he is not here. And so Kovalev is fighting oh, nice puts him down. Gets to go here in round two. This may be it. This is it, guys. There's no where he's at. Wobbly leg gets back up in the corner. He's here very bad. And Kovalev comes back with the right at the bell, and he is sent back to the corner. His corner coming up. Referee Gary Rosado saying back to the corner. There should, be, there should be disqualification because you can't come up until the count's over. And you can't be saved by the bell. And he counts an eight count again. Two knockdowns by Kovalev in the late stages of round two. And Thompson is back out now complaining to Gary Rosado. He's complaining that, the, that, that last punch was after the bell, but it was it was very, very really close. close. It was. You know, I think, yeah, I think the momentum had already started. It was bang, bang, and what was a dominant round by Kovalev. I don't think he's going to let this fight continue. He's, he's, he's hurt very, very badly, I feel. Here it is. There's the <laughs> Beautiful right. shot. What a shot that was late in the, first, in the second round. And we talked about it. There's no reason to do anything else except shoot the straight right hand. Thompson hasn't found an equalizer, a way to get out of that punch, and uh, it cost him a lot in that second round. And you saw right there the referee said, come back. Fights back on after that standing eight count. And that was when there was a second knockdown. Kovalev wasted no time, did a veteran thing there, immediately pursued his opponent and landed another straight right hand. I thought the fight was going to be stopped, Kenny. Yeah. And you know, um, he sparred some good opponents, but the, the, the gym is the gym. The fight's a whole different place. And especially against the caliber of a Sergei Kovalev here in the red trunks, coming out for the third round. Almost finished it in the second. Over. And now he may have done it. Thompson's shaken up. It's over. Kovalev comes through once.
Brooks again with that power punch. That is it. Sergey Kovalev.